Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. Yeah. Emma. I'm just a pretty face right now. I'll be out in a little bit. Can you see me? No, but I can hear you. And the live video is interrupted. Hopefully, it'll come back on in a few seconds here. All right. Well, we have to keep going. We can't hold the show. <laughs> show up for long. All right. Well, hey, that was all free. That was just a, a benefit of being a member of right. Iron Circle Martial Arts. All right. So again, so we're gonna do we're gonna step back and do a tap down, step back again and do a push across block, and then fire rear leg roundhouse kick. Okay, so let's do it. I'll uh, have you close up to the camera here. Ready? Right leg back is first. Ready? Step one. Pat down. Step back two, and then return return fire and key up. Land forward. Good job. Okay, right from there. Ready and go. Step back one. Step back two, and now fire opposite side. Hands up, good, ready, and three. Tap down, tap across, and step and fire, good. And four, one, and two, and fire, good. Is it back up yet, sir? Can anyone comment and see if, if the video is up on Facebook? Ready, and five, one, and two, and kick, good. Ready, six, down. And over and kick. And seven. Down and over and kick. Ready? Eight. Down and over and kick. And nine. Down and over and kick. Last one. Ready? Ten. Down and over and fire. All right. Good job. Next one's going to work very, very similar. Okay. We're going to be. Moving backward as we go. This time I want you to imagine a punch coming in or a back fist coming into the face. You're going to step back and push across one. Step back, push across two. And then fire reverse punch to create some space. Ally front kick and land forward. Okay. Try that one again. Right leg is back. Push block one, push block two, and then reverse punch and fire front kick. All right. So again, got push block one, push block two, reverse punch, fire your front kick and come back in again. All right. Let's try this one, guys. Start right leg back fighting stance first. Ready and one, block one, block two, punch and kick and land forward. Good, land forward. Ready, two, block, block, punch, and kick. Land up, good. Ready, three, block, block, punch, kick. Land forward. Ready, four, block, block, punch, kick. Land up. Ready, five, one, two, reverse punch, front kick, and land. They look like they're following pretty good, Double Watch. Yeah. All right, ready, six. One, two, punch, kick. Good, keep those hands up. Ready, seven. One, two, and punch, kick. Oh, I got my feet messed up on that one. Ready, eight. One, two, kick, and punch. That's what happens if you try and go too fast, so keep yourself in check. Ready, nine. One, two, punch, kick. Last one. Ready, ten. One. Two, reverse punch and kick. Okay. All right. Now, this one, we're not going to be moving back so much. We're going to be defending in place and then advancing. So, right leg is back. Hands are up. Front hand is going to just drop and push the technique to the outside. So, it could be a round kick coming to my rib cage. Could be a front kick coming in. Could even be a reverse punch coming in, solar plexus or lower. My front hand just drops and pushes it out of the way, okay? So just drop that hand and push it out of the way. Fire the punch. Execute a front kick, land forward. Turn the body, execute a high roundhouse kick and land forward. And come on back. 
So front hand drops, knock it out of the way, punch toward the face, front kick into the body, round kick into the head. I'm a big fan of altering the levels of your attacks, right? Because if all you do is attack the person's body, you make it really easy for them to defend. If you're nothing but a headhunter, really easy to defend and get your head out of the way. It's harder to defend your whole body. More area to hit, wider, right? Really wide if you're not doing anything during quarantine. So I like mixing up the levels. That's why the punch is going face, front here, then front of the body here, then high on the side of the head here. Okay, here we go again. Ready? Lock down. Punch. Front kick. Fire the high roundhouse kick. Good. Bring it back. Do it again. Ready? And go. One, two. Kick and hit. High kick. Good. Landing. Always hands up. Moving forward. Okay, ready and go. One, two. Kick and kick. Land forward. Hands up. Good. Let's go one more on this side. Ready? Yeah, one, two, kick and kick and down. Okay, now we got to try it from the other side, right? If you're a one-trick pony, if your attacks always come from the same side, again, it makes you easier to defend against. You want to be unpredictable, okay? Left leg back. All of a sudden, I hear uh, Vector in my head. Unpredictable. Those of you who watch Despicable Me know what I'm talking about. All right, front hand, one. Block, punch, front kick, high roundhouse kick, okay? All right, here we go. Left leg is back. Ready, and go. Block, punch, front kick, high round kick, land in front. Good, number two. Ready, go. Block down, punch, kick, high round kick. Bring it back again. Ready, number three, go, block, punch, kick, and kick. Up, good. And four, one, two, kick, and round kick. Land up, good. Bring it back. Facebookers, I'm hoping you're following along. I'm really hoping you can even see us. Ready, five, one, two, kick, and kick. Hands up. Ready, set, one, two, kick, and hit. Good, bring it back. Seven, one, two, kick, and hit. Here, good. Ready, eight, one, two, kick, and hit. Up, good. One more, on this, two more on this side. Ready, nine, one, two, kick, up. Last one on the side. Ready, 10, one, two, kick, and hit. All right, good. Okay, the next couple drills, we're not going to so much block. Well, actually, we're not going to block at all on the first part of it. What we're going to do is we're going to evade. And how we're going to evade is we're not going to go left, right, or duck or anything like that. We're going to slide back. So remember, the general rule in footwork and there are always exceptions, but for the most part, general rule is in footwork, if you're moving forward, your front foot picks up, your back foot pushes. If you're moving backward, your back foot picks up, your front foot pushes. If you're going to the right, right foot moves, left is the locomotion. If you're going left, left foot moves, right is the locomotion, okay? And you're not taking big steps when you do it or bouncing around or anything like that. It's very subtle. Very subtle, almost a drag, but not a drag like your Igor from a horror movie or anything like that. Just very subtle step. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go right leg back, fighting stance, come up closer to the screen. Then we're going to fade back one, fade back two, and right from here, turn and spin back kick into the camera. It's, well, not into the camera, but you know what I mean, toward the monitor, okay? So fighting stance is up. We slide back one. We slide back a second time in response to their second attack. Drive the back kick and land forward. I don't want you to pull it behind you like you do a wheel kick. I want you to drive through. Because some good fighters, they'll watch that wheel kick go by, and they'll just, like, ride it in. They'll ride it in like a wave, like the tide coming out. 
Pad coming in, tag going out. If your foot just pushes through, there's no coming back and that foot's in the way, it lands forward, you can pick it up and kick them again, okay? So right leg is back, slide one, slide two, immediately back kick into the camera, hands up. All right, let's try it, here we go. Number one, slide one, slide two, immediately kick, land and up, good job. We'll do the same side again. We're going to do it 10 times each side. Ready? Two. One, two, and then kick. And in. Good. Ready? Three. Side one. Slide two. Back kick. Land forward. Good. Ready? And four. Slide up. Slide up. Make sure your feet are in a good position. So when you throw the back kick, you have good balance. Five. One. Two, immediately kick after you've established your feet are in the right position. On that second slide, we're going to number six now. On that second slide, slide your feet where they need to be to do the back kick. Ready, six, one, two, prep, kick, and down. Good. Number seven, one, two, turn, kick. Good. Ready, eight, one, two, kick. Good. And nine. One, two, spin kick. Last one on the side. Ready? Ten. One, two, turn, kick. Land into it. All right. Good work, guys. Going back the other way now. Let's put your left leg back. Some of you, the left leg spin might be a little awkward. Work on your awkward kicks. When you're practicing at home, used to have a terrible left leg kick. Now I only have a Semi-terrible left leg kick. It's because I worked to improve it twice as much as I did on my right side. So if I practice 10 round kicks on a heavy bag on my right leg, I would do 20 with the left leg to try and catch it up to that same level. Okay? All right, here we go. Ready? Slide one. Slide two. Turn. Back kick. Land. Bring it back again. Here we go. Ready? And one. Two, number two, back kick, and up, good, and three, one, slide, turn, kick, and up, good, number four, ready, one, two, as soon as you set, drive that kick in, get up, number five, one, two, turn, kick, good, set it up, Number six, one, two, blast the kick. All right. Number seven, one, two, turn kick. Good. Ready, number eight, one, two, drive in. Good. Two more, guys. One, two, number nine, nail it. Good. Set it up for the last one. Ready? Go. One, two, slide, kick, land. All right. Good work on those. Good work on those. Now, next combo is just going to be more traditional, just in place, driving forward. So right leg is back from here. Everybody take your lead hand. Should be your left hand. Drive it to the outside and block. Okay? Then we're going to add punch. Followed by side kick. So we got inside outside block, reverse punch, followed by side kick. This is more traditional attack off of the first one. More, more traditional counter attack. Ready and one block punch. Side kick. Land up. Good. Set it up. Ready. Two. One, two. Kick. Land in. Bring it back. Ready. Three, pop, pop, back in, and four, two, boom, in the back, five, one, two, kick, back, okay, six, one, two, kick, in the back, seven, one, two, three, and up, good. Ready, eight, one, two, three, good, 
And not two, kick, bring it back. Last one to side. Ten, two, kick, and land. Good work, guys. Got to work the other side now. Ready? Left leg back. Right hand block. Left hand punch. Left leg side kick. Ready? Hana. One, two, three. Good. Bring it back. Toe. One, two, three. Good. Ready, set. Hey up. Bring it back. Net. One, two. Hey up. Good. Toss it. One, two. Hey up. Set. Yasi. One, two. Hey up. Good. You go. One, two. Hey up. Set. <coughs> Yo no. One, two. Hey up. Two more guys. Ready. Uh -huh. One, two. Hey up. Last one. Yo, one, two, hey up, and back. All right, no tension, tree up. Young Yi Bao. Okay, remember during these drills, balance, timing, footwork. If your balance is bad, everything else is bad. If your timing is bad, doesn't matter how exquisite your balance is, right? The timing is bad. You're not going to land things when you want to land them. You're going to get hit by things you don't want to get hit with. So work those principles. All right, you ready, sir? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make brother. Turn it up. So I'm going to make it yet. Okay, sir. The principle that Master Cross was talking about when we first started is actually referred to as a draw. Okay, what a draw is is when you're drawing somebody's attack forward, acting like you're retreating, and then um, you work their timing to attack when they least expect it. Okay, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go flat. Flat means that um, if I'm mobile, my weight is predominantly on the balls of my foot. Not like I'm wearing high heels or a you know a heeled shoe, but definitely on the balls of my feet. So right now I'm on the balls of my feet. Now I'm flat. When I'm flat, all of my weight goes to the back of my foot. It's very, very hard to move. Okay, so we're going to do some unorthodox techniques right now um, using our hands. All right, so what I'm going to do is with my hand up, I'm going to step forward, and I'm going to step forward, and I want to punch. I've done this before. So I'm going to step punch, all right? So step back. And now we'll do two. So we'll build it up moving towards the camera. So if you can advance, let's do that. So I want to step punch, step punch. Good. Back up. Now let's do three. Step punch, step punch, step punch. Good. And back up. Now four. Step punch, step punch, step punch, step punch. Good. Back up. Let's go for five. Step punch, step punch, step punch, step punch, step punch. Okay, back up. The reason why I like that is because there is a delay between my step and my punch. So if I'm here and I'm just going bop, 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 my, hand, my feet are planted. The step causes hesitation in my opponent. All right? So from here, what I want you to do, just one, step, punch. So put your foot down first and then throw the punch slightly after you make the step, okay? Hands up, let's go for five. Step, punch, good, back up. A Little bit of delay between your step and your punch. Step, punch, good, again, hands up. Let's go for three, step, punch, good. Hands up, hands always up. Remember, I like to touch my jaw. Hand, punch, good. And then one more, step, punch. Good. Now on the other side, step and punch. Hands up, step, punch. Nice. Pull back. Let's go again. Step, punch. Beautiful. Couple more. Step, punch. Good. Back up. Step, punch. Good. Back up. Last one. Step, punch. Good. And back up. All right. We're, um, we're going to build this, okay, like building blocks. So that's one of the techniques that we're going to use. To put things in combination and concert and Jason possibilities later. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our cat pawn, our back fist. Okay, explosive technique. Now, it's a really good point fighting technique if you're in a uh, tournament that lets you use that. If you're not, um, I would use it anyway. You get two warnings, might as well use one. Hands up. Yes, I did say that. 
All right, now look, from here, like Master Claw said, I'm going to lift my front foot and have my back foot explode. That's how I drive forward. This is going to whip, okay? So I'm going to step and whip, hands up. Now it's here, and as I boom, I pull it back down to here, but this hand is defense. Okay, so my, I have one hand that's up the entire time. All right, hands up this way. So I step, bang, and then back. Let's go again. Step, bang. Pull back. Let's do three more. Step, bang, and back. Last two will be a little bit faster. Step, boom. Last one. Good. Now switch feet. Other side, same. Step, boom, and then back. Hands up. Step, pop, and then back up. Step, boom, and then back. Three more. Step, boom. Last two. Try to be fast. Good. Last one. Good. And back. Okay. Now, when we step, we're going to step and stop. We're not going to throw anything. So let's say I'm free sparring and I've thrown that a couple of times. I'm smack somebody with it between the eyes. When you smack somebody between the, the eyes with a back fist, they have the glove on. It makes a loud, wet, happy slappy mushy sound it's awesome all right so look now what i'm going to do is i'm going to step like i'm going to do it i wait a second the person in front of me goes oh and then they see nothing happens and they go forward so again this is kind of a draw even though i'm not having them pursue me i've had them go flat on their heels that's the time to shine okay listen i don't care how ballistically fast you are if you control the timing of the fight, you control the fight, period. All right, hands up. So now I'm going to go, bah, bah. all right? So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to step first, pause, and then go. So here, step, boom, and then in. Hands up, step, boom. Now what I don't want to do when I step is do this, okay? Because somebody will wheel kick or hook kick or round kick or side kick my head right off. Let's keep your hands up. Let's go again. Step, boom. Let's go again. Step, boom. Couple more. Step, boom. Good. Switch feet. Other side. And remember when I switch feet, I want to step back and step out. I don't want to switch in front of my partner or my opponent or whoever. All right? Step, bam, and then back. Step, boom. Three more. Step, boom. Step, boom. Step, boom. All right, back up. Now, what else can I do? Well, let's say I'm doing that a lot, right, and crushing somebody with it. All right, listen, the things that you're good at, you use to set the person up for other things. So if you have a really good sidekick, okay, and you're throwing that, bang, right, and they're eating it, eating it, eating it. You can continue to throw it the entire time, but eventually, hopefully, if they're a decent fighter, they're going to get wise to it. So you hit them a couple of different times, and then you use it. So if you're fighting and they see you raise that leg, they stop, they plant, they get ready to get hit. It opens up the world to other things. Remember, you control the timing, you control the fight. So look, so now I'm back to my other side. Instead of going boom, then I plant, and I throw my other side. Okay, it's a small, subtle difference. The hands are this close, but it is a difference. The hand's not coming this way. It's coming straight. And what else is there? My other hand to follow up. Okay? So now, we've done step and punch. We've done step and back fist. All right, now we're going to work on our turns. So um, what's illegal a lot in, in tournament karate is blind back fist. Okay? But it's a really, really good technique. And it's really powerful. All right. So from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and pull it back. I swing my foot. I don't twist with it. If you twist into a T stance and you get stuck, you're going to get clobbered. So bring your feet almost like a reverse C step. Boom. And then out. So for those of you that are not true karate geeks and you don't know what a C step is, when I'm in my front stance, okay, I can step straight and keep myself low. But traditionally, traditionally, a lot of the Japanese Okinawan systems, they'll go one and two, 
one and two. So they'll step in and out C-step. So when I spin, I'm going to do a reverse C-step. So from here, I bring my feet together and then out. Okay. So we're going to go slow. We're going to go back fist. We're going to do it maybe five times, but it's going to be mind-numbingly slow so you can get the technique down. All right. So from here, backhand is the one back fisting. So whatever right leg you have back is fine. So from here, whap, and then back, and then step back through. Let's do again. Boom, and then back. So I'm working on my spins. I'm just working on them a little differently. Step, pop, and then back. Two more. Step, pop, and then back. Ha, oh, last one. Ready? Step, pop, and then back. All right, so I'm sliding back. Now I'm going to do the other side. Remember what I'm doing is I'm doing a reverse C-step when I do that. All right, here we go. Ready? And then back. Again. Boom. And then back. Three more. Step. And then back. Two more. Step. Boom. And then back. Last one. Step. And then back. All right. Now, now that we've got that, there's a million things that we can do. I'm going to take these off because every time I spin, my glasses slide to the end of my nose. All right. So look, I can go spin, back fist. I could do spin, chop, right? It's a, technique. it's a decent technique. If you've never been chopped in the jaw before, it's a religious experience. All right. The other thing, watch. Boom. All right. We get real fancy. Check this out. We're going to do a couple of them. Boom. All right. If you can get to the point where your opponent never knows what's going on, boy, well, head of the game. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step, punch, spin, back fist. Okay. So look, we're going to go slow. I step, punch, spin, back fist. Okay. Let's go again. Hands up. Step, punch, spin, back fist. When I spin, the key to spinning without losing balance is I want my feet almost to brush when I'm stepping backwards. That's where that reverse C comes into play. So watch again. I step, punch, boom, and step out, back fist. All right? Let's do a couple. We'll speed it up just a little bit. Let's go again. We'll do three and three. All right, and what I'm doing is not a true blind spinning back fist because I'm actually sitting more back kickish with this. Good. Last one on this side, and then we'll switch. Good, and back up. All right, switch sides. Other side, same thing. Let's do four on the other side. All right, by step, boom, and spin back. Boom. When I'm throwing my back kick while well, fist two, I lean in with my shoulder just slightly, but make sure that your hands are up because you don't want to catch one in the face. So one, two, two more. One, two, that was without the punch. Let's do two. Make sure we have the punch in there too. Step, boom, boom. And last one. Okay, now, remember what I said earlier in the earlier videos when we worked on hand techniques. I don't want the, my partner to feel like they're getting hit with a bucket of water. I want them to feel like they're getting hit with a tidal wave, which means that I just want this onslaught of technique. So I don't want to step in and go whap and have it stop. If I hit, great, you know, it might be uncomfortable for them. It might stop the momentum, but it's not what I want. We had a gentleman, when I was coming up, a little story time, because I know the other schools are doing a lot of story time, so I'll tell you about this gentleman. So I had mentors coming up, really, really good mentors. I'm the fighter that I am today and had the success that I've had fighting because of my mentors. So Master Claus, obviously. Master Claus actually drove me to 
um, Chinatown when uh, Asian World was in China, or not when Asian World, yeah, Asian World Martial Arts was in Chinatown. He bought me the Dao Jeet Kune Do, and that kind of changed my world. So, you know, I think I was a green belt, brown belt at the time, and he loaded me in his um, Hyundai Excel, I believe it was. That was a beautiful car. Too. Right, it was an awesome car until Phil Harrington crushed it with his truck. If you're 45 in reverse. Right, <laughs> anyway, uh, so he did that. And then I had um, Rich McBride, who was actually the medevac pilot for the state police. And this is the gentleman that I get the tidal wave technique from because what would happen is he was also a Kempo style. So he would punch at you and all you would hear is tia, 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 tia. And he would spin you around. So your back was to him. And then when your back was to him, he would continue to kick and punch you in the back of the head, which is, you know, for me, never, ever turn your back. So if I'm going to get hit, at least I get, I see what's coming. Dallas Curley. Okay. Mark Carr. There was a lot of guys, Brady Harris, Jay Pasquale. There was a lot of guys that really helped me to learn how to fight. So anyway, getting back to this tight away. So now I'm going to step through and punch. I'm going to spin and back fist, and then I'm going to step through and punch again. So look, I'm going to go one, two, boom, three. Okay. Kind of like the Tasmanian devil, her uh, tornado technique. All right. One, two, boom, three. Let's try a couple of those. They're fun. Make you dizzy. Step one, two, boom, three. Let's do two more. Step one, two, boom, three. Let's do one more. Those are fun, you know. Hands up. And that's one on this side. One, two, boom, three. Good. Let's switch other side. You can also lead with your front hand. So I'm here. I'm moving around. And I go bang, just leave with my front hand or one, two. Okay. But you have to practice these things and you have to feel the timing. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Okay. Timing is not something that your instructor can go, okay, learn timing. You have to learn it. It's your reaction time. I work with Gabby Radzowitz a little bit on reaction time, but I guarantee you she went back to her basement and drilled it and drilled it and drilled it and drilled it. And drilled it, and drilled it so she's making it her own. That's what you have to do. All right. So from here, other side, we'll do four. Then I'm going to turn you over to the Velocipaster for some conditioning. All right, step one, two, three. Let's go again. Three more. One, two, three. Two more. Hands up. One, two, three. Good. Ah, here we go. One, two, three. Good. Last one. Hands up. One, two, three. Oh, he switched on you. Last one. Let's do that one again because that was fun because you didn't see it coming. So you're all sitting there on your butts wondering how I did that through the camera. That's next week. All right, watch. So I'm going to go one, two, three, switch, bang, four, switch, bang, five. All right, enough of that. Shut up. Give me a bow. You're up, sir. Ah! Face master clock. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Endurance time and conditioning. So, first drill. It's going to be right leg back. What you're going to do is we're going to do one leg at a time. You're going to do three bounce knees. So, what I mean by that is you're just in a fighting stance. I'll stand sideways here so you see what I mean. Okay. You're going to just touch, touch, touch as fast as you can. Three. So, touch. Touch, touch, and then explode with a front kick. Get it back. One, two, three. Third one. Explode with the front kick. So one side only. Keep tapping. Three taps. Fire the kick. One minute. One side only. Right? The tap should be done fast. And then fire the kick. Tap, tap, tap. Fire the kick as fast as you can. One leg only. I don't care which one you start on. Ready? And go. I think I see motion on Zoom. Yes, I see mo I see some motion. Come on, Ethan. Crank it out, buddy. That's it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Facebookers, can't see you. Trust that you're working hard. We are 30 seconds in. You're halfway there. Keep going on that one leg. Do not switch legs. Do not switch. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Keep going. 
15 seconds. 10 seconds. Just a few more seconds. Time. Good job, guys. Load up the other leg now. We're going right at it. Load up the other leg. Three bounce and a kick. Ready and go. Three bounce and a kick. Wasn't that like a Ted Danson movie? <laughs> Something like that. Let's go, friends. Let's go. Push it out. Who's that? Oh, man, that's that's awful to hear. I'm looking at three. They look really good. Some people just leave the screen. <laughs> if we can't see you, we suspect you're not doing anything. 20 seconds. Prove us wrong. Get on the camera. 15 seconds. On to 10. Actually, the camera just came on. Oh, so camera's just turned on. Wow. Time. All right. Remember, if your cameras aren't on, we can't offer you any feedback. Generally speaking, most of the time, unless we're like doing some kind of crazy multitasking, one of us is instructing, the other one's on Overwatch watching the Zoom, okay? I wish we could watch the Facebook, but they haven't advanced to that point yet. Maybe they'll try and challenge the Zoom platform at some point. They actually have it Oh, really? Yeah. Is that that annoying app that keeps blocking up and screwing everything up for me? It might be, but they actually just came out. Oh, look out. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. Next one now. We're going to do, we're going to kind of stand feet maybe just slightly better than shoulder width apart. Okay. And you're just going to drive your knees straight up. One, two, three. Third one is a side kick. One, two, three. And immediately side kick to the side. One leg only. Three bounces, so three fakes, and the fourth one, you spear them like a kebab. Ready, and she jump. Come on, Jersey. Come on, Jersey. What was that? I can't see you, Jersey, but, but Master Me Brother is, is questioning what he's looking at. Not that good. Not a side kick. It's supposed to be a sidekick. What's knee she up. throwing? Put your knee up. Knee up. He's saying knee up if you can't hear him. Get your knee up. Guys are looking good here. Looking good here. I see the Stevenson kid pounding him out there. Get those side kicks up. Good job, Ethan. Get that kick higher, man. Kick at the sprinkler. If you don't have sprinklers in the house, kick at the ceiling. Less than 30 seconds to go now. Master Ray Broda, would you push the back door ladies room open and let the Henderson girls steal their uniform, sir? Push the back door. Yeah, the outside door, and the Henderson girls are going to sneak in and get their dough box. Over here? Yes. Are we the back door? Time! They're coming by the back door right now. All right, guys, the time on that one. Let's go to the other side now. Bouncing on the other side. One, two, three. Other leg kicks now. Ready and go! Start ripping it up. Start ripping it up. All right, thank you. They just want to pick up the dough box. I told you, I'm over here. Gotta do this, gotta do no, gotta do this. 20 seconds done, you're one third there. Time just be flying. What kinds of stuff popping up on my screen just to annoy me? It's amazing. You are halfway there, you're past the halfway point. Keep on going. 20 seconds. Get it, James. Get it, James. Get it, James. Get it, James. Yeah. If you can't hear, get it, James. Master May Broda is chanting, get it, James. 10 seconds. Knees up on those side kicks. You guys are making me cry right now. Knees up, knees up. Come on, Jericho. Seriously. But if there's a trophy involved, that knee be up. Time. Wow, that was a low blow. <laughs> All right, great job, Zoomers. I'm assuming great job, Facebookers. I'm excited to hear Facebook's going to do something that we can, you know, interact two way. That's that's kind of cool news. I know nothing about it. Uh, hopefully, it's better than this glitching machine. It keeps like I'll be talking, and then like your face will appear like a ghost for a second and disappear. Right? Isn't that cool? It is terrifying. 
<laughs> it's terrifying. I almost it's wet like myself a couple years. times. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, guys. Uh, we got the gifts that we were looking to give out for the belt test. So if you pass your test in March and you pass your test this week, uh, he and I will make an announcement either later tonight or tomorrow as to when you can come by and pick up the belts and we'll stand in the window and taunt you with glass in front of us for, you know, proper, safe social distancing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So we'll uh, have that information out in the next 24 hours. Any other announcements, sir? Yeah. So here's what I recommend that you do based on what I'm seeing when I'm watching you take class on Zoom. So every night, complete disclosure, what I do before I leave here is I play the class back and I watch myself teach. And there are some things I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And there are some things I'm like, yo, that was ugly. We need to work on that. Okay, and that's me, and I've been doing this forever. What I strongly recommend that you do is record yourself taking class and then go and look at it and take inventory of it. Parents, I strongly recommend that you do that to your children to see exactly what they're doing during class because I see a lot of this. The issue is you're training to do that if you're taking class like that. And we're not in the living room to correct you right now. We're doing the best that we can with the private lessons and everything else. But let's maximize our time and become effective doing this. There are definitely people that are getting better. Okay. Savita from Iron Circle is getting better. Okay. Sumita is getting better. I know that Shannon's getting better. James is getting better. John Paul's getting better. Okay. Cobra Stone from, you know, here is definitely getting better. There's a lot of people that I see that I, I don't know their names to call out from this school that you can tell, hey, they're working on it. And some of you take class, it's like, as soon as things get hard, you check out. Don't do that. Good advice, man. Good advice. All right, folks. Face up. Shut up. Yogi. All right, hand up. Hand up. Set. I'm two. Two. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, this fancy schmancy stuff. Yeah, James. Yeah, James. Yeah, James. James is back, baby. <laughs>